What's up guys and welcome back to Ghost Recon Wildlands. That's right, we're back! I didn't think it was going to be this soon, but we actually have some new DLC that came out like a week, week and a half ago, something like that. I was in Australia when it came out, but uh, I've been very excited to check it out here with you guys. And that's where we're going to be starting today. So it's called Narco Road. I'm not really sure what to expect. I just, I know that this is the first expansion. So uh, let's find out what's going to happen here. Here we go. Loading. Your additional content is being loaded. Please do not turn off your system. All right. Let's load it up and see what we've got. With Santa Blanca winning the prize of the world's most successful criminal organization, it's inevitable they have one of the most sophisticated smuggling networks we've ever tried to... And it's not just narcotics. They smuggle cars, guns, humans, phones, even animals. Ask any hustler on the street, and he'll tell you there's one Mr. Big behind the whole network. A mastermind known affectionately as El Invisible. No one knows his name. No one knows what he looks like. No one knows where he operates from. We had nothing. Until last week, that is. When we picked up a hacker on our most wanted list, Carlos Reguillo. Of course, this black hat didn't like the idea of 30 years sewing mailbags, so started to talk. He tells us that recently, Santa Blanca brought him a PDA to enhance. And while doing this, Reguillo finds it's loaded with every detail of their entire smuggling operation. We believe that operating with just this device and working alone is how El Invisible remains invisible. So, the CIA have been presented with a MacGuffin we can't just ignore. We need that PDA found along with its owner. We've thousands of suspects, but without some kind of name, a physical description, and a recent location, it's impossible for us to focus on any one person. What I can offer is somewhere to start your hunt. Three powerful individuals and their organizations who have had contact with this mysterious smuggling kingpin. Infiltrate the inner circle of these men and get us the information we need. All right, so we're going to be going undercover. We're not taking people out. We're infiltrating their inner circles to get this info. This is going to be pretty exciting. Let's get it. El Invisible. It's not going to stay invisible for too long. So here we go, guys. It's kind of exciting. So are we going to be in like the same area? Like, is this taking place in Bolivia or? I'm honestly not even sure. Oh, oh wow. Okay. So we're creating an entirely new character. Is this like a different... We must be a part of a different squad or something. So this is like an entirely different universe. It's like, you know, El Sueño and all those other guys aren't really... They don't really have anything to do with this. That's kind of cool. All right, here we go. So we're going to switch things up here. We're going to change up our character. I don't want to make the exact same one we did last time. So uh, we've got a Keller. We've got Sparky. This takes a little bit to switch. Snake. Foxy. Blade. That sounds pretty cool. Mason. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Rock. That's Rock right there. He looks pretty sick. Beetle. Dude, I like Rock. Let's go with Rock. There we go. All right. So that's our face. Then for eye color, light brown works for me. Facial hair, Trucker. But that, I feel like that is partially what makes him look so cool. The chevron does not look good. Goatee, yeah. Business beard. Lumberjack. I think, well, Lumberjack actually doesn't look too bad, but I think the trucker is part of what really, I don't know, it gives him that, that bite. All right, so hair. I need to get a nice, uh, nice fade going on here, bruh. Ponytail. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that looks really wrong. Undercut doesn't look bad, but that's what we had the first time. Shaggy, Mo oh, Mohawk actually doesn't look bad. Or we could go with some cornrows. Have I ever seen a black dude with a mohawk? I don't think I have, but it doesn't it doesn't look bad. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the squared up though, the squared away. Looks good to me. Hair color is gonna be brown. Facial detail. What do you guys think? Well, he already has kind of like a cut above his eye. That he just I, he looks like a true special operations officer. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and keep that. That looks good to me. Now for appearance, body details, facial paint. Do want any paint? Uh, that's all a little bit too much. Right arm tattoo. I know we un oh that's kind of sick. 
Look at the the like glowing orange coming out of that skull. Um, I know we unlocked some new tattoos based off of everything that we've done. See, like right there, we had DJ Perico's tattoo. Sapper. I kind of like uh, penance. That looks pretty cool. I get tattoos in video games because I don't have any in real life. I'm not enough of a badass to get any in real life. Um, should we go double full sleeve or should we keep it kind of... Ooh, that's kind of sick. Dude, those are both pretty sick. I'm going to go with the ghostly skulls. So we got skulls on both ends. That's kind of cool. Okay, so that looks good. Clothes? What do you guys think? Switch things up a little bit. Cry combat shirt. Definitely want something to be able to show off the tattoos a little bit. Fleeces. Just a plain t-shirt. Leather jacket, bomber jacket. Ooh, the bomber jacket's kind of sick. Thermite tank top. Oh, all this stuff is, is locked. Um, what did we go with before? I think it was business casual. Maybe we just go with a tank top. Show off the guns a little bit. What do you guys think? Maybe something like this. I'm going to go with that for now. Vests. Probably want a vest on, huh? Something like this. Mole harness. Something something kind of light, but it's got like a knife and some extra mags and stuff on there. Pants. Let's definitely switch these up. Uh, we don't want jeans. We want some like combat pants, but maybe something like that. Cargo B. What do we go with for a color, though? I'm feeling a dark color. Multi camo black. Right tech tie funder just black. We might go with black. I don't know. I kind of want something crazy, but I also don't really know what I want here. Ooh, these are sick. 511 Apex Bs. Go with some ghillie strands. <laughs> I like the knee pads on the Apex C's. We're going to go with the black Apex C's. Looks good to me. Footwear, hiking shoes. Let's go with the combat boots. Ah. Uh, hiking boots look kind of cool. Ghillie suits don't need any. Ah, uh, I don't know if I'm sold in the pants. I changed out the camo tank top for a straight black one and then went with black camo pants. I think that looks a little bit better because in the camo pants have... A little bit of that green in there. That's the same thing that we have on our, our vest here. Overall, I think that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. So for accessories, what do you guys think? I know, I think I unlocked some goggles. <laughs> Bro, I need some like Supreme goggles or something. I'm dope with that be. Oh, the aviated. I look like the rock out here. That actually looks really sick. Gold sunglasses. Those, those are not doing it. I, I can't take it seriously because like, they're so small on his face that the frames are going like straight out. You know what I mean? You guys see how bad that looks? He needs some bigger sunglasses. All right, we're definitely going with the aviators. Those look the best out of everything. So we've got the aviators, some face wear. Put a ski mask on there. Look like we're going to rob a bank or something. Um, ooh, what is that? Half face mask? That's interesting. Shmaga. I don't even know how to say whatever the heck that thing is. El Jefe Cigar. How do you get this? I want that so bad. Dude, if I could run around everywhere with a cigar hanging out of my mouth, that'd be so sick. All right, what do you guys think? A, sh a Shema or none? I'm going to go with none. Headwear. Got some helmets. Some hats. Bro, I'm telling you, I want some like Supreme goggles just on the side of my... <laughs> Leather bull hat. Dude, I think we might have to do it. Or the Plaga's hat looks kind of cool. Straight cowboy hat. This is so funny. I don't know. Like, he looks good without it, but he also looks good with it. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for that uh, La Plaga's hat. Looks good to me. Headsets. 
No, we don't need any of those. Handware. Oakley Pilot. Eh, not crazy about any of those. Now, backpacks. I remember there are a lot of options for these things. I'm not going to take too much time. We're just going to go with this. Looks kind of like a tan mill. Do we have like a... We've got kind of like a black theme going on. So we have like a, a black camo, dark camo. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. I'm going to go with the multi-camo black. That's good to me. And then patches. That looks pretty sick. Oh, we have miscellaneous patches? These are all pretty cool. All right. That looks good to me. Random outfits, special outfits, all that solid. Save your character. Let's get it, boys. Cowboy, out here ready to go. All right, we're going to go with a regular difficulty. Here we go. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Narco Road. What? We've got vans on fire. We've got dune buggies. We've got like a Fast and the Furious car back in the back left. We've got monster trucks. We've got like farm spraying planes. This looks pretty cool. All right. Listen up, Ghost. You're in the middle of Eddie Escovado's territory. His gang and the kamikazes are mostly into smuggling drugs for his lavish parties. We've worked on your cover as a mercenary. Eddie knows you're coming. He'll be at his villa. All right. Let's go reach this mission location. Look at this chopper, man. Uh-oh, here we go. Operation Narco Road. Infiltrate the Santa Blanca gangs. You're undercover. They believe you're a rogue agent from the U.S. looking for gigs as a mercenary. Complete missions, cartel activities, and electro challenges to gain more followers. Filling your gang followers gauge will unlock boss missions and VIP followers. Look at this chopper, dude. First time I've seen a colorful chopper in this game. This looks pretty sick. All right, here we go. We're one kilometer out. Let's go do this thing. So this is like an entirely new storyline. Like all of our guys that we've been playing with. You're in the Playboy's playground. Exist. The information we have is that Escovado knew El Invisible as a boy. If you can impress him and his crew of adrenaline junkies, I'm sure they'll make you an honorary kamikaze and start telling you their secrets. Okay. An honorary kamikaze. So we're gonna have to do some crazy stuff to impress these guys. God. Bush deer. Okay, let's go talk to Eddie. Let's get this tutorial. Oh. Clean missions, cartel activity, electro challenge to gain more followers. Where's the electro challenge that this is talking about? Is that up in the sky? It sounds like something we're gonna have to like be all crazy and do all sorts of crazy stunts in the air and stuff like that. But first of all, we're gonna go talk to Eddie. We are deep on the inside right now, boys. How do we get downstairs? I'm looking for the... I see a monster truck option out there off in the distance. Let's go look at that. What? It's got ramps and stuff. Okay, we've got to find... Where is this? Dude, this is so much different than the original game. Like, the original game was a super tactical shooter, and now we're ramping monster trucks and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, but it's actually kind of exciting. Look at this car. That's dope. We made it. I'm ready for action, homie. Pumping iron? Sweet. Me too. Hey, friendo. I thank you for coming. I hear many good things about you. You some hotshot American gone for hire. Looking for the action, right? Ha. And guess what? Eddie likes guns. And Eddie likes to hire, but mostly the putas, of course. But I think maybe we could have some fun together after you show me just how crazy you are. Uh, have you heard of Los Sinalma? Bunch of badass gangsters with camps all over the place. I send these idiots some explosives as gifts. What they do not know is that you are going to drive this big ass truck here into their stupid camps and explode these gifts, Trojan horse style. 
You make some fucking noise and chaos for me, and then we get down to some serious business. Okay. I can do that. So we're gonna drive a monster truck into these enemy camps and blow up all the explosives that he's pre-planted for us. Sounds pretty cool. Here we go, guys. It's our kind of like test mission. Let's see what we're all about. This thing's bright, crazy neon colors too. Look at this. That's pretty sick. Does he have a sound system in the back? No way, dude. This is dope. This might actually be like engine fans or something. I don't know. All right, here we go. Nitro. The cartels have tuned their vehicles with Nitro Boost. Nitro will help accelerate faster, give you a small speed boost, and have you climb and jump. Let's try and go to Nitro. Yes, friendo. With the pedal to the metal, let it go hang with no slowpoke. You want to ride my thing? You have got to be the guy who is different, who surprises, who makes the eyes pop. My followers, they want to see craziness, they want to see genius, they want to see fucking sexy shit, okay? You want to see crazy? We can give you crazy. Here we go, fellas. We are in a monster truck right now. Whoa! Oh my gosh, 98.2 meters and a bit of a somersault. All right, new best. We completed it, good stuff. Looks like we have another jump coming up down here. Where's it at? Ah. Oh! Okay. Well, we kind of missed that one. We're gonna back it up. We're gonna be okay. We're, it's, it, sometimes it takes. Sometimes it takes two, two tries. These things are not the easiest to control. Especially going down the side of a mountain. These big tires grab onto everything. Woo! Alright. That was a little bit smoother of a landing. Not quite as far, but. Here we go, fellas. Let's get it. This is awesome. This is Sinama, Rising Cartel in Bolivia. There's the sun plug as one enemies will attack you on site. Okay. So we've got rival gangs that we're gonna be dealing with. Hello. Blew up one card, blew up a second. Can't really quite see what's going on. So we're supposed to be running over these explosives and destroying these cars. Hello! Yeah, Woo! That is what I'm talking about. Noise and danger and destruction. You are like a bull in a china shop, a rat in an operating room, a sex pest in a notary. On to the next camp, friendo. We can do that. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. <laughs> oh, I don't think that would actually... Okay, it did blow up, but our truck is not looking in the best shape. To be honest. I have swam with the sharks. I have jumped from weather balloons. I have smoked DMT and wrestled a fucking bear, but nothing gives me more pleasure than pushing a vehicle to its fucking limit. Do you want to hang with me? You must show me you love that too, friendo. I got you, bro. I just I need a vehicle that's gonna be able to take the hits, cause this thing is already smoking and not looking good. All right, so we're gonna freebie there. We're gonna try to knock them into the explosives, but not go into the explosives ourselves. That's the goal here. Electro drift. I didn't know you could. S I didn't know you could switch seats while driving. I knew you could switch seats. I didn't know you could do it while driving though. of all of our problems. We've got a fire extinguisher on the back in case we need it. I guess they uh, kind of thought of everything, huh? I just did it again. I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep wanting to press circle to drift. I don't know what the drift button is in this game. Is it square? Nope. Square is to get in and out. Okay, well. You need to be in a cartel vehicle to open up the gates. We are off to a great start. 
It's all right. We found a hole in the wall. I made a friend of you are a live wire, a spark plug, a dynamo fish fog, a person who likes to live big just like me. So I'm sure to need your, uh, how do you call it, special skill set very soon. Keep the faith, friendo. I message you soon. This is the world today. Everybody likes to watch those who have the good life, who have the freedom. People say I was born in a golden cradle, that I am a brute, that I am a clown, but I am also a mentor. I show people how to live life to the full. Always go on. Risk everything. Do all the things they say you cannot do. No one is born complete. You gotta become who you are. If you don't burn out at the end of every day, you are a bum. Yes, Eddie Escovado, folks, the self-confessed playboy, reality TV star, and extreme sports fanatic, now has 70 million followers. Wow, I am bigger than the Pope. More talented than Amadeus Mozart. I've got more wisdom than Gandhi. <laughs> I am 50% more influential than any human being ever for the next thousand years. You know, apart from being murderous and a part of a giant gang, I actually kind of agree with his outlook a little bit to kind of push yourself and explore and, and take risks in life. Holy cow, that was cool. Anyway, new mission, flying high. The cargo of Eddie's drugs is arriving. He wants you to protect it. It'll be a good opportunity to document the cartel's trading routes. All right, sounds good to me. Let's roll out. We've got a new, uh... New monster truck now, which is nice. He's not getting ready to explode, and uh, we are gonna ride on out. Right up here. My kill loops. My apologies. Woo! Dude, this is pretty sick. He's handled the terrain pretty well. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but we get her done. All right, how do you drift? Oh, it's axe. Okay. 21.95 meters. Obviously, if I'm in one of the sports cars, that's gonna work a lot better than in a monster truck. But. We got 20 points on our thing. That's pretty good. You there, friendo? I've been in Miami buying shirts. The old ones that cut goes all over. I come back and find one colossal gold fuck of a party plan. The rumpy cities. See that chopper over there? Please load it to the hole. You're pure feet. I want to continue slightly. Me, I got no one to protect my precious drugs, so I'm asking you, as one daredevil to another, please make sure that fine cocaine is delayed. I got a bad boy reputation to uphold. Boom! I can do that. <laughs> Gotta deal with those guys first, but uh, yeah, I can do that. All right, let's just take the monster truck, I guess. We could take that Lambo. That thing's pretty sick. Though. Oh, these things have some turning radius. Am I supposed to be following it in another chopper? Or just on the ground? I think we're following it on the ground. Here we go, fellas. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hard to drive. We just got a success on the drift there. That's pretty interesting. But these guys, the, the choppers kinda follow in a road, so I don't think we have to be too crazy. As long as we stay in a road, we should be fine. So Unidad's still coming after us, which is kind of interesting. They, uh, I kind of wanted to go grab that car. They didn't really mess with us, or they didn't really mess with the cartel when we were on the good side. Okay. But now that we're on the bad side, they're messing with us. Sam sites on the helicopter's path. Destroy them before they bring down any bird. Get around this car first. Destroy the Sam site.
Watch out for underneath the monster truck, home dog. Frag out. Get some. Up one down. Now the second site. And hurry. All right. Shoot, we can't get back into our truck. We're gonna hop into this thing, I guess. Works for me. Gotta go. We got 1.6 kilometers. This is kind of fun, though. I don't know. I like this. I like... So, one of the things I said back in the, um... When we played the original game, when we beat it, I was like, oh my gosh. What if it would have actually given us the chance to, uh... To take... Sueño's deal and work for the bad guys. And now we're kind of getting a taste of that. It's not quite the same thing. We're kind of getting a taste of that. They, just, they don't have games that ever let you be the bad guy, I feel like. Like, it would be... Obviously, it's a lot of fun being the hero. But it'd be so much fun to be the bad guy. Uh, I guess then you're, like, killing us and stuff. So I guess that really is considered fun. I don't know. I just think it'd be cool to kind of have the, the opposite perspective. Got a chopper for a quick getaway up here. guys were kind of spawning out of nowhere. What do you guys think? I don't know. I feel like a lot of them weren't there when we first pulled up. About to die. He dropped a grenade on himself. Frag out. Sucks to be you, bro. Helicopter now. Next section of our you want mission. Eddie's communion? You better find his truck. Locate the other Unidad chopper and hack into the fleet's base of operations. That should tell you where the bird carrying the proverbial worm went to. Okay. That works for me. So is it that thing? Great, great. That blows you. The download stopped. Great, great. Lost the download. We took everything. Money, drugs. Oh yeah, I expect the girls go crazy for you. No. My belly is stupid. I look like a chubby slug in a white jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's because you like your mama's peanut butter banana and bacon sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds good. What the fuck about can't catch the stream. They say he think the CIA are listening to every conversation. Yeah? <laughs> like the CIA would be interested in listening to Commander Suarez, so we talking his mistress is all fucking day. What? The commander has more than one mistress. You don't know. They say he has one for every day of the week. <laughs> Seven mistresses. <laughs> it takes many of those things. The ones for getting the uh, blood flowing. Uh, of course. That's why he always has such a purple face. <laughs> the captured helicopter inside the Unidad base. Sounds good to me. Jeez. Those guys were just tearing into that guy. 
Oh, he takes lots of pills. That's why his face is always purple. That's funny. Anyway, here we go, guys. 2.2 kilometers out. We're going to go save this chopper. So they're going to be very happy with us. We narrowly avoided a couple of missiles. We still have them after us. Acrobatics up to the right. We saw one of those people too. It's like a little side mission. Trying to stay low for these missiles, but they're still trying to get us. I don't know if we can get any lower. There's one hell of a firefight going on. Eddie's drugs are on the chopper. Help Santa Blanca or not, but get them out of there. Okay, so you just want us to take the chopper, is what it sounds like. How is this for uh, dramatic and exciting, homie? Parachuting in. Dying. Dang it! <laughs> I thought that that guy right there... Oh, man. I thought they killed him. That's why I was going to land next to him and just take the chopper and leave. It's all right. We can come in the hard way, too. Eddie's drugs are on the chopper. Help Santa Blanca or not, but get them out of there. I'm cool with that. I don't like Unidad, man. These guys make me mad to no end. Where did that guy even go? So, we're, we're running into a grenade. We're going to help these guys. Take him out. Winnie Dot is more corrupt than Santa Blanca is, to be honest. We're gonna take care of business. Dude, this silence daycare or whatever we have is freaking good. Those guys are down. Now we should be good to take it. No problemo. All you can to land this broken bird in one piece. Without his drugs, Escovado's gonna be one cold turkey who won't be inviting you to Thanksgiving. Right. It's making my teeth rattle. I'm gonna have to watch out for uh, those missiles again, I'm sure. Let's see, it's broken. How's it broken? It's not. I mean, it's. It's hand. Oh, oh, no, it's not. Holy Fuck. shit! And a bucket. It's so weird because our character's the voice air. is the Dude, same. Let's see what it does to my hair. And it, it just doesn't sound right. Like, the voice sounds like a white dude. I thought the voice fit our original well, character, but... Handler. Now that we've got this guy, just, I feel like it doesn't really fit his, his profile, but... It's right. This tin can will not do as it's told. Should make it here. Dude, it does Second not move. Dynamics, everything is always breaking down. At all. Like it's supposed to be. I'm to get it right in that spot. Any which way but straight. What's up, Eddie? If we make it, the drinks are on me. It said he was calling, but he hasn't said anything. New VIP follower. Well, at least we'll die having some fun. Nice fucking work, friendo. You got the fish scale. That stuff is intense. My guests are going to be so amped, you'll be able to charge your phone from their assholes. <laughs> <laughs> if I need more help with the preparations, I will let you know. Adios. All right. Yes, yes, he seems pretty pleased with us. There you guys have it. That is our start here on Narco Road. Definitely an interesting twist on Ghost Recon. It's a uh, a little bit more fun, a little bit more lighthearted, and a little bit more crazy. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you guys would like to see more, drop a thumbs up on the video. I've got a feeling you guys are going to want to see more. I've really enjoyed this game so far, and this seems like it's going to be a pretty cool expansion. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.